In this video, I'm going to be showing and explaining some of the downsides of stacking silver here in the UK. Now, bear in mind, this may not be the same if you live in places such as the US, Canada or Australia. This is going to be a perspective purely if you are thinking or have been stacking or buying silver here in the UK. Let's see the cons about doing it. So let's say that you're a new stacker, you haven't bought any silver or precious metals yet. You've been watching some videos on YouTube and you see us all talking and raving about silver, how it's going to go up. Some of the opportunities it has, such as in the vehicle sector, it being one of the best conductors for electricity, how it's only $25, say half the price of what it was at its all time high, which is a 50% discount. Some would say, let's talk about this. So I don't know how it compares in the US exactly. I don't live there. But here in the UK, when you buy silver, you pay spot, which is a, around about £19 at the moment. I can't remember exactly. Let's call it £19. On top of that, when you buy a piece of silver, you will automatically pay 20% VAT. Now, VAT is our tax, which uh, is you pay on all things that you buy. So, for example, you will buy, uh, let's say, um, this, this one ounce, you're looking for a one ounce coin. £19 for spot price. You will then pay 20% on top of that, so £3.80 in tax. Once you pay the £3.80 in tax... The uh, mints and everyone who transport have to get their cut, so they obviously add a premium. And then the shops selling them, or the dealers selling them to the shops, they have to make a small margin as well. So here in the UK, you could perhaps, even though this would be melt value, which is what we call the spot price, about £19, it will be £3.80, £22, let's say £23 approximately with the tax. And then obviously some places are selling, maybe not maples, but Britannia's for £34, £35. Now you can buy these on our online marketplaces, uh, like these maples as well for um, a bit cheaper. You can perhaps get them for £25, £26, which obviously brings it down. You're not paying for the dealers, but then you run the risk of them being fake or not being tested or are you really going to trust people that you've never met on the internet selling you you know a, a 250 300 pound 10 ounce bar now that's the risk that you've got to take as opposed to that one of the things i've learned as uh, stacking silver from all the videos that i've done on this channel here in the uk if you are thinking about stacking something my personal recommendation obviously you can do your own research and there is the there is the thought that this is at a discount, which in theory it is when you compare it to 2011 and, uh, you know, the early 1970s when it re reached uh, 49, $49, almost hitting $50. Bear in mind, you will be paying perhaps 35% premium, 40, 45% even on silver. You would need silver price to to go up drastically to break even now you can hold silver for a long time realistically will you hold silver for a long time not many people will um things might come in house you know house uh renovations or buying a house or buying cars and things like that where you've got to free up some money somewhere in the short term especially do not buy silver if you're thinking about perhaps seeing if you like it maybe buy a few small pieces like one ounce silver pieces you know these uh these are really great uh nice to have as well nice to keep and they're affordable as opposed to buying huge massive chunky bars especially with interest rates and the things uh the way the world is going at the moment i would say personally after stacking and seeing the ins and outs and how much um how much things go for and how best to spend your money if you're here in the uk i would recommend uh stacking gold especially but also silver silver just 
um, is nice is nice to have in small amounts and I will keep on buying little pieces now and again. But my main focus this year, if you haven't already watched it, it'd be on the collectible Morgans and things that I'm doing. I'm trying to fill out an album. And also I'm looking at gold sovereigns as well. Gold, uh, UK sovereigns. Um, I haven't really thought about the Canadian ones or the um, or, or the Australian sovereigns. But sovereigns are around about a quarter of ounces of gold, just under if you're not sure. But they you don't pay tax on it. And the premiums are like four to five percent. So instead of spending, you know, 35, 40 percent, I don't know, premium on Britannias, if you buy them from the mint um, and you want to give them all your money. Um, I would personally say that gold sovereigns, especially the the um, the better date, uh, I say the better date, the. Um, the ones that are like the cheapest, the most affordable ones, you can get some really great old ones and they're at a really good deal right now. So if I was to personally give you any types of tips, by all means, buy silver. I like silver. I will always buy silver. But in terms of if I learnt something from stacking and everything, and if you are thinking about buying precious metals, consider gold, especially if you're in the UK. It's a much lower premium. You don't pay tax. And in the short term, I mean, a tenth ounce of gold last year, if you bought it last year, it would have cost you 100, £170. You can sell them for about £210 now. So, um, yeah. But by all means, guys, let me know your thoughts. And if you have watched the end of the video, please leave a like, please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts and everything. Until next time, guys. Thanks very much. Take care.